Hey guys, uh, Ben Person the Roaster Tracker. We are back in our satisfactory experience. We're making some pretty decent progress and right now we are trying to get our crystal products ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna look at my inventory so I can remember what we were doing last time. Uh, yeah, it looks like we need to dump off a bunch of stuff, some meats and whatnot. And I'm going to say we need some plastic. It's probably about right. That sounds pretty accurate. Anyways, um, our goal today is to get crystal oscillators and aluminum refining going and probably this next logistical break, which we need aluminum for. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. That's what I got. High quality intro today, guys. High quality. Um, I think I have a bunch of bauxite. Well, yeah, limiters. I didn't realize I had so many of those here. Batteries. Hmm. Well, we have silica. I swore we had a bauxite, which is aluminum. But I could be wrong, or maybe we disposed of it. I guess we disposed of it. Meh, whatever. Sometimes I do silly things like that without really knowing why. Let's get going. We're gonna go visit the plastic. Oh wait, rifles! Yeah, let's set that up. We need a train for that. So I'm gonna set up a train here. Just make sure there's nothing coming. Okay. Train, other direction, there we go. And two freight cars. And we are going to go to the Venray station, which uh, we need a name, but we'll get there. And then we're gonna go to Robber. So at Venre, we're going to load all of our, uh, let's go with powder, black powder, and then we're going to unload that at rubber. So let's go ahead and turn on self-driving. We'll take a peek over there and see how ready we are to do everything. We'll get the rifle production set up first, the uh, ammo specifically. I really feel like we need to kill some trains here. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's see here. We have a train block there. Problem is this section. Can we add another block signal here anywhere? Hmm. I think what we need to do... Okay, this is still good. Uh, 
let's go to there. What's the actual error that it says? Signal loops into itself. Yeah. This is a very complicated, nasty intersection. Don't remember where this is supposed to go. I'm guessing here. Okay, let's set up a little loop. Um just remind myself what direction. We're going this way. Okay, so we need to set it up uh, over here. Break this up. Hmm. They they crashed, oh no. Uh yay yay, we'll have to fix that. Hang on. Train junctions are actually kinda sensitive. Let's re-rail the train. Holy moly. Um, we're gonna back you up manually. There's a train right behind us. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, let's turn on self-driving then. We're gonna jump out and we're gonna back this guy up manually. Do we need to hang on? Rerail all the cars? Fix the track. I mean, the track's fine. Hmm. Massive train jam. Okay, let's start with you. Let's turn off self-driving, and then we're going to go backward. Okay, we'll leave locomotive. Good, good. <clears throat> now let's get to you. We're going to turn off self-driving and we're going to back up a little bit. We can't back you up. Why? Is the track damage somehow? No. <clears throat> hmm. Don't understand. Okay. 
Well, apparently this is going to be called debugging trains. For some strange reason... They're close enough to intersect, but there's no alert. We're just going to stay here on the side of the road until you pass. Turn on self-driving here. And then we'll turn on self-driving here. We're going to see if there's anything we can do to improve this intersection, though. Honestly, there's probably not much. So I think our return trip will come along here. Hmm. Sounds like the train's moving. Yep, there's the horn. Uh, let's get here so we can be ready to sneak on this train as it is heading away. No, they're not moving. Interesting. Um, we're going to call you. This is powder. This train is going to be called the powder train. Why is it? Taking so long. Maybe there's just a lot here. Okay, I have forgotten to include the rubber station. I must have forgot to save there. Rubber, we're going to edit the timetable. Rubber will be unload powder. And we're just going to load powder here. The station name Powder. And now we're actually going. It helps when you have the right station to go to next. Good. So hopefully we can avoid any issues. Whee! Get off my truck! Okay, this is looking pretty decent.
That intersection is pretty nasty. I'm not really surprised that we had a few issues in uh, getting all that navigation set up. Interesting the train had to stop there. It shouldn't have. That's fine though. I mean, honestly, the trains have such high throughput, then who cares if we're a little bit slow? So we'll need to pick up some plastic from here before we head back. May even see if there's any untapped oil. Please tell me this is going to the right spot. Good. No rubber. Ooh, that's some nasty looking water. I mean, you know, we may as well pollute it. It's so nasty looking. Okay, that goes to here. So we're going to keep the conveyor going. Missing reinforced plates. I do. We should have some in a box close to here. So we'll go pick some up there. Look at the powder coming down the train line or the conveyor belt. Sweet. Let's see, we got iron. Uh, we'll take all the reinforced. I forgot to get rid of my junk, but that's fine. The question is, is where did I stick my inlet? I think it's up high. So we're going to go check up here. See, that's rubber. Yeah, it's over here. So this is black powder in and we'll have uh, smokeless powder out. Then for smokeless powder, I believe we need copper. Let's see if we can find an untouched vein anywhere close to here. Mm. It's not horrible. So now we'll have basically unlimited smokeless powder. Okay. Let's go follow this along. See if we can find our copper. I think we're going to try to stay kind of edge on. What do we have here? Nice little goodie box. May come in handy at some point in time, but for now we're just gonna ignore it. Let's see here. Scan for the copper. I think it's up here, maybe? This direction, interesting. All right. We may as well head to, to the top of this thing. We have plenty of fuel. We should be fine. Ooh, there's something over there. I 
Got a slug. Good, good. Got some meat. Looks like we got another one over here. Let's go take care of you. Perfect. So we got some cable. Reinforced plate a little. This looks like it's pretty standard. Um, need some power here. So we'll find a way to get power up here. Quite reach. Um, I don't really need that. All we need to do is to connect two of these guys. Maybe that one to. Oh, can we reach it? So close. Okay, looks good. Whoops. Okay. Whew. So we got our power. Then what else do we need? Just pull the handle and we get another hard drive. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Scan for copper. Should be basically straight ahead. Hmm. All right. This way. Looks like it's close to our little coal deposit. Did not realize there was. Is that a waterfall? Uh, whip, I don't care about you. And this was our coal factory, so we got iron, pure iron here. That's nice. We may use you at some point in time. Somewhere around here, though, there should be some copper. Okay. Uh, this is close enough. We should bring the power here. Basically right here, okay. Forty-nine meters that way. It's gonna be probably up. Okay, that's good. Go, we gotcha. Uh, I think we're going to have to bring our lineup again, which is fine.
Okay. It should be somewhere right around here. We got a slug up here. Some more meats. Okay. Looking fine. Some nuts. Lovely looking tree. Where is our copper mine? Did we... is it too high? Hundred eighteen meters that direction. Oh, that must be it right there. Okay, that's fine. It's just normal. Well, that's fine. Um, everything that we've needed needs copper sheets. Uh, let's think about this. Well, first thing, let's get our level two minor because we know that's what we're gonna do so we'll get two of these and kill it and level two minor Now, out of curiosity, if we hit O, um, if we look at the sheets, it's two to one, so it's better for us to build this here. Let's change the toggle mode. Should go check out the top of that to see what cool discoveries are on top of that thing, but we'll get there in a moment. Okay, we want copper sheet blueprint. Missing rods. Uh... Yeah, I had a feeling we were going to be running low on something. Well, that's fine. Hatchlings, oi! Let's shoot you guys. It is a purple slug. Let's uh, try this again. We'll use the inhaler. And we're gonna switch over, I guess, to manually. The guy is obviously not supposed to be there. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're just going to get some 
Shish kebab. That worked out uh, fairly good. There we go. Fine, let's just do it this way. Daggum. Oh well. It's easy enough to get back here and we'll just pick up some sticks this time before we head out. Should be right here. Just a couple. Um, I don't think we're going to worry about it too much else. I think we killed everything that was out there. So, we should be fine. Except... Well, I want to get some concrete too because we did not build a ramp up there and I have a feeling that's going to come to bite us. It's amazing to me how cramped this factory seems all of a sudden. Get some just regular iron plates as well. No screws, just plates. We want to go this tube. I think we'll take the tube down to our coal power station that we don't really, really need, but it's there. Random spot to have copper sheets, but it's right. I was going to uh, do the building of this over there, but that's fine. So we didn't actually hook up our copper sheets. Oh, we didn't even build any because we were missing sticks. That's right. That's right. Okay, looking good. No trains caught in this wacky intersection. Would not surprise me still if it's possible to uh, have some train crashes there. But hopefully we'll be avoiding most of those for the most part. By the way, if you notice anything, my microphone settings are just a little bit different than before. I'm trying to tweak them, see what works best. And I don't know if this will be it, but we must attempt, because if you don't try to do anything, then, you know, there can be problems. So let me know if there's a difference. Mostly what I'm doing is just trying to filter out some of the background noise. Not that there's a ton of it here now, but there can be at times. Almost looks like a turkey. Uh, yep, we're gonna crash into the wall. This is our coal station, so we're headed towards our crate. Good, good. So our crate's high up. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get to it without too much problems. Oh, fudge. 
have no weapons. Uh, yeah, let's just go out here to the edge. We're trying to get up to there somewhere. Hopefully we can just hide. We seem to be doing a decent job of that so far. More coal. More coal. There's a lot of coal here. Okay, well, we should be able to zoop down a ramp from up here. A ramp. Actually, let's have it coming this direction. Looks like it'll do. Be a little bit easier to get up. And explore some of these weird structures. There's some critter outside my window right now. Interesting. Um I think an owl of some kind. Not something I've heard very often though. Okay, we've got our crate. Unfortunately, we were going up this thing a little bit. I think we probably killed the uh, boogers, but the hatch critters, whatever they are, hatchlings. But uh, we did not pick up their meat and we still have the crate of our previous inventory. Of course, it's going to be chocked full of stuff. Let's pick up uh, the stuff on the end first. And we're going to take everything and then we're going to put our inventory in place. And we should be able to take everything here. Good. Get our hatchling meat. Collect a purple power slug. And we're good. Excellent. Now we should be able to build our sheets. I don't remember how many sheets we get. We have two smelters, so it's fairly standard to to one. So let's try here. Now this is a normal, so that belt should work. Why is our input? It's kind of a weird. Oh, that is our input. Okay. That's fine. And then we need to power you guys up. So first of all, let's connect these two. And then we'll connect you guys to here. Everything should be working. Mm, okay, let's go ahead and merge up some stuff. Uh, 
Oh, uh, there's three of these machines. All right. So we'll have to build one in the middle of them. Let's keep our platform extending. Just a scooch. Oops. It's a minor oops. Okay, and then merge up here. This one will probably need to be a level two belt, I think. But I think this will do. And we need to just get you... Uh, that's fine. We'll take you down the ramp and... We really need you to go this way? Yeah. Good. Can't afford, all right. Well, that's not too terrible. Oh, those are trains at night, that's cool. I think I will pick up some more fuel here. Uh, we do have a chest that's somewhere in this vicinity. I doubt it has reinforced plates, but we may as well check. Reinforced plates! Just, um, I have a lot of iron in the area. Interesting. There's the whip. Another iron deposit, okay. Let's just go down like here. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Uh, we can just go along these pipes. We need more plates. Jeez, we need a lot of plates. Okay. That's fine. We're getting really close. So we'll have to go back to our, uh, the hard drive area. Little crash site where we've got a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Oh, well, we took all of you already. Unless we have some at our computer site, then we are out of reinforced plates in this area. Wow. Did not realize we were going to need that many. All right. Trains still seem to be running okay. I think that was just kind of bad luck. All 
right. Well, I am convinced we need a train. Or we need to head back. We got some trains that are coming. But if we're going to do this, let's get some plastic. The trick is, is where can we pick up plastic? We also needed the supercomputers. This is kind of useless production. We've got to figure out a use for that sooner or later. We'll pick up a full stack and a full stack of this. How soon until we have a train? We have one at the powder station. Auto wiring seems to be fairly close. There it is. That one's going to stop by here to load and then we'll uh, just piggyback on it and take it back. Because I feel like being lazy right now, guys. There's really no other reason. And it's fun to ride trains. We can't look at our inventory, interestingly enough. So, we have some auto wiring. I mean, this train is a candidate for being scrapped. It uh, isn't particularly useful anymore. It's too bad we can't look at our inventory while we're on the train. I'm looking at how these signals go. Just blowing past that station at high speed, good. Uh, it shouldn't have to stop. Why is that train fully loaded? That's weird. No, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Trains close together like this makes it less likely we're going to get into a train jam, which is always an annoyance, so... Having them bunched up a bit is not a bad thing. I do feel like we need to clear out this jungle a little bit more. There's inevitably some really cool stuff that's in this area. A couple of hatchlings. So the first thing we're gonna do is drop off our hard drive. Because those take a while to research, and then we're gonna really get our inventory cleared out. Uh, this is good enough. Okay. Looks like this is starting to back up some. I mean, it's a little bit too bad that we're just scrapping that, but that's fine. Mycela, we had a knee I would drop you off, but we do not. Okay, first things first, we gotta do the ma'am. I'm gonna look to see... It's kind of tempting to do this. We have two hard drives right now? Wow. If we had any coal, I would, but we don't. So let's scan. And we're gonna go process our, um, start with power shards. And 
then our... Uh, let's go with the meat. Got a lot of spitters. I think we can pretty safely do another batch of alien DNA. So let's see here, what else do we got? We have more motors than was probably wise to take back. The plastic we're gonna leave here. Oh, the superconductor, I should have done the research for that. Oh well. We'll go drop off the grass next. Bunch of circuit boards, but that's fine. Uh, the copper ore. We have the bauxite with us. Huh. Let's go ahead and set up a test for... Okay. We have the bauxite with us. Let's build a foundry. I don't know. Connect it right there. You're going to get aluminum ingots. Oh, we have to... Wait. I thought this was bauxite, aluminum scrap, and silica. So how do you get aluminum scrap? Is that from a smelter? No. I thought that was what the bauxite was for. Interesting. These copper ingots we're going to have to just toss in the sink. Oh yeah, let's do the copper ore too. Go ahead and put this stuff in. Keep making alien DNA while we think things through. Uh, looks like we're gonna need some cable pretty soon. Okay. So, I don't know how we're supposed to get the aluminum scrap. I thought that came from bauxite. If it doesn't come from a foundry, do we make it? How do we make aluminum scrap? Let's figure that out. Aluminum scrap. Aluminum solution and coal. Okay. So do we need a refiner then? Aluminum solution comes from bauxite and water. And it does produce silica in and of itself. Interesting. I wonder if it's enough silica. Okay, so we don't have water, but that's interesting. The hard drive's still well on its way to being re... Search. Let's go ahead and dump in all of our DNA. We get more and more tickets. Mm. 
before we go too far though, let's get our uh, inhaler samples up. Okay, looking good. Toss you guys. Let's go drop off our leaps. Good, good. Mm. Let's put all the reinforced plate we have, but we're going to go pick up a bunch more because we do not seem to have enough of this stuff recently. Not even close to enough. I'm going to pick up five things. Hopefully that'll be enough. And we'll give the partial to here. Oh, we have industrial beams. Yeah, we have some of those too in excess. Now we just have to figure out how to make the aluminum. Hmm. Okay, well. Bauxite to aluminum solution to I think it's two layers of refine. I mean, this is going to use a lot of energy. A ton of it. Uh, we need some cables too before we get too far. So let's go pick those up. Uh, one more stack. That should be good. That's some of the stuff I haven't picked up for a long time. Hmm. That was all from the DNA points. We got a huge little bonus there. 104 coupons. It's a decent amount. All right, how's our hard drive research coming? Uh, one minute I think is worth it. Let's see, do we have some industrial beams? I think we're gonna need some of those. Thought we had we have a bunch down at the other side though. That's where they are. Not a big deal. Um, sulfur. We'll get our rifle bullets. A nuclear deterrent. That's going to be a wild quartz. We need the oscillators, which is on our to-do list for today. This guy. We can almost get you. Almost. So that'll be you, and then the bullets guidance system. Um, we just need a whole bunch of bullets, which we'll have soon. Just need the oscillator for here. So what do you got? Recycle the rubber, plastic fuel to rubber, yeah, no. Steel rotors, maybe. Steel coated plates, I can't, Im 
steel plastic to make a lot of iron plates and uh, I mean this is probably the most useful one but even then it's not that useful Some of them just aren't that great. Some of them are fantastic. All right. The Explorer, that'll be interesting. Once we get the Crystal Oscillator, we'll be able to get all of this stuff knocked out real quick. Reward is a scannable hydrogen. Oh, this is a new. Interesting. So we can look for the hard drives easier. Okay. I think we've done what we need to do here. All of us flower petals, we should do some coloring and, you know. Let's just see how... Uh, I could tear down one of these, but eh, whatever, that's fine. just ticket production. How close of a train do we have? We have the rubber train is coming in hot. So we'll take the rubber train back. So the main base, what are we doing? We're unloading rubber and the rubber we're loading. Okay. It should be fine. Yeah, we got this guys. This is no big deal at all. Trying to figure out which was the train that was full. Okay. Interesting. We're just following a train though, and I'm fine with a little bit of delay for following a train. Setting up more frequent signals would be a pain. Would be nice to get one more unit through the uh, intersection though before we had any waiting. Waiting in the intersection is likely to be the source of problems at some point in time in the future. None like when I play Factorio, we have not carefully crafted all of this. So, yeah. All right. Not bad. Yeah, we're going to have to see what we can do to improve our plastic production, though, because our plastic production is constantly the source of our issues. If we can figure out a way to increase it, then we'll be doing great. I'm amazed at how quickly we're chugging through our smokeless powder here. Of course, we are literally just shoving that all into here. 
Yeah, we're probably not able to produce this as quickly. 20 per minute. <laughs> yeah, okay. Obviously, at some point in time, we're gonna have a surplus, but I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a full new unit of fuel. Okay, we have our copper sheets going in the back way. That's fine. here maybe and then down there come through here to right here now we have our powder here we really need an assembler maybe two but we'll we'll figure this out uh, rifle ammo, three copper sheets, and two smokeless powder. How much smokeless powder are we getting per minute? 20, so we will take two. All of the smokeless powder at this point in time, I'm pretty sure we want to convert. Oops, let's go. One will come from here. And then the other splitter will be here. This is probably going to look really stupid, but that's fine. And then we're just going to loop around here. And then we need to power. Uh, let's go ahead and give it power pull mark two just because we can. exactly reasons like that that we're going to do the mark two have a few mark twos around will be quite handy so the outputs from these guys need to be merged up and then we need to shove you guys into a chest Must be up high. Let's go take care of that. Let's hang on. Before we do anything, let's make sure. Rifle ammo. Good. And rifle ammo. So we're gonna get a bunch of rifle ammo here pretty soon. We'll need a rifle. Don't believe we have one. Ooh, we got a hatchling up here. Okay. Go 
blow you up. Uh, what else is up here? Looks like we got a blue power slug. Anything noteworthy? Not really. Okay. Still, we got rid of the hatch thing, which is something we've been seeing errors, not errors for, but uh, messages for for a while. How much rifle ammo do we have already? This, these I'll put 75 per minute, right? Yeah. We actually need to speed these guys up and we need a level 3 belt here. Got another hard drive research done. Um, let's go ahead and take what we've got and we'll also take a stack from here. One more time from here. Okay. Rifle ammo is being produced. What is it? Well, we'll build the rifle when we get back. Looks like all of our trains are down on the other side. Let's uh, reload this a little bit. We can put one thing of cables, concrete. By the way, this should not be. Copper sheets. It's tempting to put the slugs in. We should make some more gas filters. We're gonna do that. We need more coal. And we can also use coal. Well, I don't think I have an extra hard drive still. Do we have any untapped oil here? Nope, they are all... Well... There's two more. How f good are they? Pure... Pure. <sighs> How is our power situation? really really good on our power so the question for the plastic use is what's the availability of plastic but we can always pump it down if we need to mm, we may tap those still We'll think about it. Now that coal is just going out at a continuous stream into our coal power plants, which burn it regardless of whether or not we actually need it. Still, I'm gonna take uh, some of this coal out. We need some for some recipes and such, and it won't hurt to have a little bit missing.
Got the train. Come on, let's make the train, make the train. We have two trains. Nice. It's fine. It's really not like uh, throughput is a huge concern on our train network right now. So that's the rubber train and this is the, I don't know what train, it's a really specialized train didn't you know. Um, okay. Powder train. So this won't quite take us all the way back but it'll take us most of the way back. And that's fine. May have to trim back that uh, crazy intersection just to scooch. Just because, um, really, this powder train probably is only ever going to go one direction, so we don't really need both directions on the tracks. But it's good practice, I think, to be able to do that kind of intersection. And those intersections are a pain. We may try some of the circular intersections. Maybe we can blueprint these. What are we... This is the powder train. Why are we going down... Our intersection is screwed up. Hmm, that's why we ride the train sometimes. Okay, well, that's fine. Wait, this is right before our main base. Okay, I know where we are now. It just took a moment, but we probably have to do a loop de loop, which is. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. There's a real big part of me that's tempted to see. Flexible framework. Problem is versatile framework is not something that I think we're gonna need to build anything. Fused wire. So cadmium, copper ingot and catarinium. I mean, that's tempting. The steel frame, nah. This one may be useful. In the right situation. Okay. Let's go ahead and just process our stuff. Put you on there. We got the rifle DNA, or rifle DNA. Rifle, so that will be. Well, we need a lot more for you. We don't have enough bullets. Okay. Rebar, I'm not super. Rifle needs rubber and screws. Okay. Well, we can easily find both of those. Oh, uh, I used to keep a bunch of screws there. I guess I must have turned it loose, but that's fine. A 
We'll take two. Zipline is kind of tempting, but meh. Steel pipes were low on. Yeah. Nice. I look forward to those guys no longer being as much of a concern. Uh, we also did bring a lot of coal. I want to build some more filter plates. Gas filters? Yeah. We we'll need to get some more fabric, which we have a way of doing that it's just dumping here my cell yeah and we're not storing it so that's fine that should be good enough i think uh let's see what other stuff we can drop these off the plastic I think we're going to use that soon. We got some little umbrellas, so let's go ahead and get our inhalers produced. One. No wood, but we do have some leaves, I'm sure. Okay, that looks fine. Um, we'll leave the fabric in here. Power slug we need to process. Anything else worth doing? I'll leave the coal here just so we can do, um, I think we want to do the turbo fuel the next time we get the chance. All right, let's do some quartz oscillators. So that's this tube. Don't know that we'll have everything to do this yet, but uh, we should be fairly close. Uh, the biggest thing that we're going to need is we need to get a shipment of iron in. For what, I don't remember exactly, but I know we need iron to do it. But we'll figure out how to do that here shortly. Just moseying up the train. We're getting pretty close to our little land of milk and honey. Wee. Okay. So let's see here. We have copper wire. Uh, we have cable, ultimately, right? I don't understand why there's no wire to here. No copper ingot to here. I 
this is my blueprint. I apparently didn't set copper ingot there. Interesting. So I'll have to fix that in my blueprint. Let's uh, fix that real quick while we remember. Load blueprint, cable production. Copper ingot, okay. And we're gonna save, confirm, clear designer and dismantle. So that will increase the cable throughput, which is fine. Uh, we have, over here is the crystal bits that we need. We have basically an unlimited supply of this. Oh, I forgot we need pipes. Okay, let's build uh, one manufacturer here. And you are gonna make explosive rebar? Hmm. Crystal oscillator. So I don't know what, what speed is this. Um We'll go ahead and just do a Mark III because we can. We're gonna have more than one of these eventually. The cables are produced 30 a minute, so really there's no sense in doing faster than this. It's probably a Mark II, that's what I would have done. It's Quartz Crystal. This is Quartz Crystal. No power. But I powered you, I thought. What are you? You have no power. You're just hanging out by yourself. All right, that's confusing, but all right. I wonder if that's part of my blueprint or if it's just something. There we go. It's now being powered. Uh, it needs some reinforced plate. We'll give it some seed reinforced plate. We're going to send the reinforced plate here from somewhere. Now, where is the nearest iron? It's really here. Well, here or here and based on the fact that we don't really need a ton of it I'm inclined to take this we'll save this for something else So we're just going to carry this power line along. 
We're looking for our iron. We have two impures, so we can uh, get a decent amount of iron plate. We don't really need a ton either. Part of the reason why I am more than willing to go with the impure. Raining, just like it has been here for like the last week, it seems. I have been slack on my exercise because I go running outside and I don't want to do that in the cold rain. I just... Should be some really close. There's actually a lot of iron in this area. Should be somewhere right around here. It says... Okay. We're off just a scooch, but that's fine. Let's pick up our slug. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, get this. Kind of tempted to try out the rifle, but we're so close. I don't want to mess with it. So we have two impure mines here. Good. Remember when I used to be scared of those big guys, but they seem to not really be a huge concern. They're just gentle giants that occasionally get in the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our equipment production workshop. We're going to make four portable miners. Ugh, I have all these screws with me. Two, three, and four. Let's get some miners. We're missing steel pipes. Oy, yay. yay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put this sign so we can hopefully find this on the map again. And then we need to put a chest here as well. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to drop off our personal miners here. Although I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and build our screw cast screw factory here. We'll have to do some adjusting to this, but I see no reason not to uh,
get these powered and we'll feed it with what we produced so that way we don't just scrap it. Um, now we're looking for pipes. There's a couple of different places where we could get them. We could get some in this general vicinity. But I think we're better off heading to our main pipe site, which we know has tons and tons and tons of pipes and just wants us to come pick some up. Now, it's not by the elevator, but the elevator has all of our uh, hyper tubes. <coughs> Whee! Mmm, I see something on the top of that hill. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Yellow slug. Okay, we're in train land. Which means we're actually pretty close to our steel pipe land. Uh, before we go too far, let's dump our inventory. I do not care about the screws. And then we'll process our slugs. Let's drop... the flowers, this... Process our meats. And the power shards. Okay. So we'll have some crystal oscillators the next time we go back, but we need steel pipes. Pick some up. Um, probably need some reinforced plates too, actually, now that I think about it. Wouldn't be a bad idea to pick some up. But steel pipes we're going to need a bunch of. There's no production happening here of any kind. Well, there may be a little bit, but not a lot. One more. Uh, let's take the partial stack and dump it. We have some of these. Dump the partial stack, I guess. We must be full on industrial beams, wow. I don't think we have any in our inventory, so we'll pick those up. And these frames, we could just sink this entire thing. Don't think there's any point to keeping it. Well, there may be. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna put an industrial storage on top of here and we're going to lift. To mark one. That will have us start to produce these frames again, okay. So anything else that we should do while we're out here? Uh, not really. I mean, we have a piece of wood and a little bit of leaves and such, but that's not a huge concern. Straight ahead.
Mm, we could blow that rock up, but why should we bother? It's just not hurting anything, just minding its own business. You know why? Uh, we need to go more left. We already have power there. Missed picking that up, but it doesn't really matter because we have plenty of that stuff. Oh, there's our factory. Okay. Perfect. Now we should have plenty of steel tubes. So let's go ahead and take these guys. Uh, kill this. And we'll build ourselves a couple of minor mark twos. One of which will be devoted to steel. Modular frames, really? Ugh. What I get for not checking? Um, we can probably build them one modular frame. Yeah, one won't be a big deal. So let's see here. How many screws per second are we getting? Uh, I don't know that I believe this. So it's two smelters worth 30 iron ore, and this will produce how much? 60. So 30 iron ore. Thirty ingots. And then No, we're legitimately gonna produce two hundred screws per second with just that side. Um to do a maximum Well let's go extend this out another row. And we're going to build an assembler. If I remember right, the ideal trick is to space these out. So bolted plates need 250 screws per minute. Um, what's the difference between these two? I mean, this thing just works three times faster. That's all. It uses a few more screws, actually. So, really, there's no point to that. Let's do this. 60 screws per minute. So, what we actually want to do... Thirty iron plates per minute. An iron plate. Is a one to one. So we're going to change your recipe to iron plate thirty. We'll dump all of you in. And 
and then we want 60 screws per minute which honestly one of these should do we should have done this a little bit differently but that's fine so then we're going to skip one of you we'll drop this out And you're going to be... Um, plates? I guess that's where the bolted recipe comes in handy is you don't have to do as much uh, of this finagling. You can just kind of toss everything together. And it may end up being more efficient overall. I don't know. Uh, let's... No, we don't need that. I was thinking about doing the higher level power poles, but meh. That's just a pain. Let's see, switch the miners to be more in this direction. These last two are screws. Let's uh, change this last one to plates. And it won't get quite as much as the other ones, but it's fine. Reinforce plate and reinforce plate. Okay, three to one, good. Then all of these plates are now going to get shipped up. What am I? Concrete. Lovely. So we will need a little bit of concrete. Um, we don't need all of this space out here though, so let's just deconstruct a little bit. We'll gain a little bit of concrete back. We could make some more concrete if we really wanted to and... Hang on. Let's see if we can snipe that thing. Nice. That uh, was kind of a non-deal. Non-issue. Do we want to... Yeah, but we're just going to put a Mark 1 here. I mean, it's good to have a few more sites that make concrete. much concrete is in this thing there we go uh let's build our equipment workshop and one portable miner so we're gonna dump a miner mark one here and then we're going to not smelt but constructor goes to there you make concrete
And we'll dump whatever limestone we have here just to start things off. But this should be good now. Okay, now it's good. Perfect. So we'll have our concrete if we need it. What kind of rates are we talking about here? Um, I mean, 15 per minute, so we're just going to use iron. 15 is generous per minute. Yeah, I see roughly where we're going. We're going to aim with that marker. We're going to try to use as few of the concrete patches as we can get away with. We don't know how many that will be, but the fewer uh, stop points, the less concrete we'll need. Hmm, don't really like going through here, but it's not really going to be a concern. Missing iron plates. gum. Okay, so we'll go steal some iron plates. It's always something. Yeah, we're not going to be able to steal that many iron plates from here. Because there just simply is not enough production. Well... We still have a long ways to go to. Um, alright, well... I mean, what else is there to it but to go pick up some more iron plates from somewhere? So I guess we'll walk back. We're almost there. We'll follow the tube. We might be able to follow the hyper tube most of the way. But no, we want to probably take it from the point of origin. So this is the right thing to do. So we need probably, what, three or four stacks of plates, maybe a little more. We are building a long tube, so we'll go ahead and do more. We're probably going to be building a lot more. the leaves in here, put the wood in here. Uh, fudge. Don't put the leaves in there, I put... The wood in here, and the leaves in here. Okay. I will pick up a couple sacks of concrete. And then we need just the plates. Should be somewhere around here. Four, five, yeah. 
we're not doing much with trains, so I'm going to leave my circuits here. I'll leave them in this chest. I'm going to go pick up a stack of modular frames too while we're at it. Don't need those very often, but when we need them, boy, we need them. Okay, so what can we toss down the sink? Uh, that's just a one stack, 12, one, then inhalers, let's go ahead and put those in here. Well, hang on. Yeah, we have full stacks, so we can, well, the other one, this one. Okay. I think this is pretty decent. Good, good. It's too bad that I missed one of the intersections in my attempt to do a fancier intersection, but that's fine. It's not unexpected there would be some issues. Um, we probably mostly want to follow the pipe, although we do want to veer a little bit to the left of it. Oh, we got a slug. Let's go ahead and pick you up. I really need to clear out my to-do list. I should try to do something more useful. I tried to use it a time or two and it just didn't quite take. Whoa. Wait, is this... That looks like it's more iron. Interesting. Oh, it's copper! Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Okay, so far so good. We have some geysers here. Um, pure water. So, can we build the hot spring thing here? Geothermal generator? We need supercomputers anyways, okay. But there is water there. We could use that for something if we needed to. What am I doing? This is off track. I'm going to put a water symbol here. We will kind of build around this because I think someday this may be useful. 
Okay, now we got our signpost. There's our base. Let's build it right up to the... well... Yeah, we'll build it right up to the edge. And then we're gonna build a lift. Not quite sure if that worked. Beautiful though, we got our plates and we should be good. Just kill the critter. Okay, good. Um, this is all copper, I believe. Which we're barely even using. Oh, I thought those were merged. I forgot they're not. Okay. Well, we'll... Fourteen cable per minute. Okay, let's build another couple of these manufacturers. Because I don't... I'm sure we can support more than we've got. Positive. Maybe three? Let's see here, how many cables per minute are we doing? Like 60. So, well, 120. Radio control unit. Interesting. We'll have to work on building some of those, okay. So... What we're going to do... We're going to do a kind of standard-ish setup here. We're going to put the splitters... They feed in here. Uh, I... Hang on, we don't want that. We should want them to feed in from the other direction. And the reason being is we're gonna do weird loop-de-loops. This is a little bit annoying with things coming in from two different directions, but it'll be fine. Uh, the cable needs to... Well, hang on, we get 60 cable per minute. We're gonna just split the cable production into two. We're never gonna combine them together. We'll just split this guy here. Okay, let's see here, and there, and then the crystal we need to split as well. So 
So we're just going to split the crystal into three different bits. Um, we're going to put Mark IV belt into there. And then we're going to mark mark four belt and mark two belt. You're going to go down there. Oh yeah, we do need to hang on, get you there and then one all the way down there for our uh, eventual thing. Okay. Let's see here. That should be good. Uh, we'll give you a few plates just to kind of feed this process, get it kicked off. But eventually this will all be working. Let's go ahead and flatten and we'll merge the inputs and put them into a uh, case here. Okay. Good. Uh, we'll just put a standard case. There's really no reason for an extended one because we will not fill it. There's our crystal oscillators. Look at them. So cute. We got our plates coming in on the line. This is awesome. Uh, we don't seem to have cables going into there yet, so let's get that going. So I don't know that we're actually going to be able to produce that many crystals, but we should for a little while be uh, close to this. So it'll be one per minute. We're going to get three crystal oscillators per minute. Wow, guys, that's just incredible production rate. All right. Well, we got some. Um, okay, what's next on our to-do list is figuring out aluminum. Hmm. Before we do that, though. Whoa. Whoa. I got a little bit of a speed boost from something. We're going to go back and we're going to see what we can unlock with these few crystal oscillators we have. <sighs> then things are going to get interesting. The aluminum, we need water, power, obviously, bauxite, and possibly silicon, but we don't know that for certain. We may have a surplus of silicon. But I would be shocked if they did that. Just shocked. We'll find out though in a moment, I guess. Mm, moving along. Down our hyper tube. Living the dream. And we're almost there. Bink. Okay, the ma'am. Explosive resonance we could do. We could do the explorer, okay.
Need a hundred crystal loss. I mean, radar technology. Build a radar tower. I wonder what that does. Maybe it helps scan out the area. That's what it does in Factorio. We should have plenty of rifle bits. Um, hostile organism detection. We can finish that off real quick. So we need... Trains have collided. Oh no. We're going to have to figure that one out. Trains colliding every now and then cannot be good. Oh yeah. We need some meat. I'm going to go ahead and set a little... Well... Let's get the 10 right now. But I don't want to have to do this all the time and babysit. And then we'll go figure out what's going on with their trains. We'll see if we can get this a little bit better. You're going to make DNA capsules. Uh, that is the organism detector. Can't afford, we need high speed connectors. I think I have some in here, don't I? Yeah. We got a whole nother tree knocked off. Sweet! Okay, let's put this in. Let's go dump our meats. Honestly, you can just go straight into here. We'll dump you into the uh, sink at this point in time. Okay, let's go find our trains. I can almost guarantee you I know where they are. And because there's a train collision, we're probably going to have to go there manually, but it's not going to be very far. Probably the same spot we had the last collision. So my guess is, is it doesn't take into account the train clearance. Uh, it's not here. Interesting. So we have a new spot that can crash the trains. Trains just apparently crash sometimes in the game. Interesting. So we're keeping an eye out. Wonder where they crashed. Hmm. Maybe we need more signals or something. Okay, now we're close enough we can see the redness. I have a feeling I'm going to want to get out here. Powder train seems to be okay. Where did they collide? This looks like it's at the computer station. That's weird. That is so bizarre.
Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. They just... Really? Um, okay, well, clearly we're going to have to separate these guys out just a little scooch. Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and you're on manual driving. Turn on the self-driving here from this point in time. And we'll turn on your self-driving. Why are you going backwards? As soon as this is gone, we're going to... Well... Hang on. We really need to kill, like, this section. And this one. And there. And that light. So we're going to start from this way. We're going to build you to here. As close to the edge as we can get. Harvest. Okay. That should work now. Okay, see one train going full speed. Excellent. Okay, less likely to crash, I think, in this area. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, what's next? While we're here, we may as well pick up a batch of supercomputers and rifle ammo. Actually, the high-speed connectors may be useful too. I don't think AI limiter is as useful as the high-speed connectors. That's so much easier. Daggum. I screwed this up. I thought we had all the hatchers dead. Uh, but we did not, alas. Uh, we're gonna need our... Um, emergency inhalers, I think. There's 19 of them? Jeez. Wow. Ok. 
Okay. Let's see if we can hitch a ride on the train. Come on. Go faster, go faster. No! That's fine. Which train are you? You're... One that almost ran over us. Interestingly, I think we found out that the trains cannot run over us, so something I have been very concerned with is not really an issue. Hmm. So at some point in time, we should probably fix the uh, loop so that way we don't have to... Wait, this is motor train. Ah! We don't want to be on motor train. Okay. It's fine. So we're just going to have to take the tunnel back. Tunnel's a little bit more reliable anyways. It's a pity we had everything there for us, but that's fine. I think this is the one we want. Yeah. Powder trains move in, but we won't catch up to it. Not a chance. Even if our tunnels were optimal, I don't think we would. Looking fine. Powder train. There's a chance we'll see it. But I still think it's going to beat us out there. That's fine. We're moving pretty fast now. There's a train coming the other way. It is exciting to see the trains coming. I do appreciate that. Wonder what they'll use the Sam Moore for. No doubt there is a use for it, but, um, you know, time will tell. Powder train looks like it's down there. So it's interesting that even if uh, the logic says that the train should be safe, it's not always safe. Hmm. I think we're going to look to see if there's bauxite here. Because that would be kind of nice. And maybe... I want to build one to get a sense for how useful they are. Um... Crates up here. The powder? Yeah. So if we had been able to take powder, we would have been f already on there. Here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, that is out of our range without goodies. So do we have concrete here? Yes. We do not have plates. Uh... I want to say I converted one of these guys to plates. Yeah, it's one of these. Rods, screws, screws, and plates. 
You never know when you need just a few extra plates, so always good to be prepared. As I learned in Boy Scouts. Of course, usually I get prepared after I uh, have learned the hard way, but you know, there's something good with that too. I don't want to build on top. Let's see here. There's our crate. Hang on. Hopefully we got our filters at least, or rifles or some of that stuff. But that was intense. All right. We got our inhalers. Lovely. Um, okay. Let's trash the wood. Let's see here. We'll stick some of this junk here. The grass we can trash leaves so we'll be fine okay that looks good See what we got geared up. Uh, got a lot of our gear, but still not the most important stuff. Next time we surely will, though. Surely. Wow, that was pretty crazy. All right, well, we did it this time. Woo! I think we have all of our stuff, and that is why we have our emergency inhaler stack. Just for this kind of situation. Yes, we got the gas mask, we got the legs, we got the backpack, we got everything. Don't have anything in our body area, interestingly enough. We got the rifle. Let's see here, where are you? Looks fine. I mean, we did find a yellow slug, and it's not nothing. Although it's not really worth all that hassle, but clearing out the hatchlings is always a worthwhile thing. All right. Looks fine. So what's next? We have the crystal oscillators being built. Let's look for bauxite. I know there's some that's around here. Oh, there's water here. Good. It's a long ways away. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this because we know there's crystal. We've got the water. We'll take this powder train. Perfect. 
And I'm gonna see if we can figure out why you're not able to take the shortcut. Now every time I see these tracks coming this close together, I'm afraid that they're gonna hit. Probably take some very specific conditions though to hit. It's funny, of all the things that they care that have the, the hit boxes, it's the trains. Nothing else at all. Just the trains. Let's see. Once we get to this crazy intersection, we're gonna see... Yeah, there's just not a turn in from this direction. We have... This guy. Wait, there's two. I think this is just wrong. Is this the return? Wait, that's right. There is the entrance. When does the powder train come up this way? Oh, I'm spending so much time on this and it's... Okay, it goes... This is the, the on-ramp. So we have two different on-ramps. One that comes from here. And then the other one... They're both on the same track. So this one is on the wrong track. We want you to be something like you need to be on this track, something like this. Rails too steep. Well, we can kill this. Kill that. Maybe we can build a connection point up here. I think it should be here? No, it's this line that we need to come from, I think. This is so much nicer to kill these things. Okay, we need to get this better signaled. Let's see here. What do we got? Um... We should kill this segment and build just a little segment here. Come on, connect.
Okay, we got some weird blocks, of course. As always seems to happen when we do this, this is going this way. This goes through here. There we go. I think this is better. We'll see though. All right, uh, aluminum time. our steel side okay um let's go ahead and take whatever that has we're gonna send it to the dumping ground because i don't know what else to do with it we'll just follow the copper sheet line this will be fine We forgot to pick up our bullets. Oh well. I'm sure we got plenty of bullets and the research will be easy enough. And honestly, they're pretty good. Even just the base version. I'm sure stuff is going to start getting harder real soon, but... Let's see, we've got a little hatcher protein. We got some power shards. And you are going to go in here. Hatcher protein we can send here. Hundred and fourteen tickets. That's not bad. All right. Do we even know how we build nuclear pasta? That's probably pretty late. Thermal propulsion rocket. I mean, I don't know that we can build any of this stuff. Let's uh, take a trip here. I'm sure eventually we're going to have to put aluminum on the train or crystal oscillators or something like that, but we're not there yet. So luckily there's plenty of water near the bauxite. That seems to be the critical thing aside from probably lots and lots of power. We may have to do some smart splitting too. Hmm. We could probably prioritize the inputs from one side. I imagine with a programmable splitter. Seems like one of the easier things to do. Okay. Um. Check this out. Pretty sure it's in this direction though. Oh, a little bit to the left, okay. How is our production coming along now? We seem to have a surplus of cables. I mean, we have quite frankly, a surplus of everything, which is not a huge surprise, but 92, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll leave these here though. 
Because it's not something we're going to need. I'm just looking for which one's closest to being done. So I can, okay, dump that in. Good. Yeah, we could steal some cable or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and stick our oscillators in here. So we have more room. Okay. Straight ahead. Well, straight ahead is a little tricksy. But we'll go in that general direction. Another little concrete factory. Having a few mini concrete factories can be useful. I don't think there's... There does not seem to be any other purpose to limestone. But concrete, so... We don't ever need tons of it. That looks pretty cool. What's ever up there? Yeah, we'll just keep going, I think, to the top here. Not to the top, to here. Got the whip. So let's breathe while we can. Um, we're actually looking to go more in this direction. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. to figure out how to get here and I'm not going to worry too much about the power and stuff like that for a little while. Okay, looking fine. Um, is it still on the map now? More bauxite. So it should be somewhere right around here. Is it this maybe? Pure bauxite. Okay. Well, pure of. Holy cow! How did so many of these guys sneak up on me? I guess the rifle doesn't work well on these guys. It's excellent for the hatchers and probably the spitters too. Who knows with the spiders, but we don't really see a lot of those, the hatchlings. Just use an inhaler.
Who knows? I must not have finished this cycle. That's fine. We got it this time. Alright. Anyways, we have our equipment site. We're going to set up portable miners. Can you get two of these? Let's get a miner mark two. It's got to go towards the water, which I think is... Well, there's water everywhere. It's fine. Um... That is a big giant hole. Obviously, this is not the best. Well, I was going to say, I thought there was. There's some power lines way down there. Also, some power lines way down there. So, let's see here. How far can we build? That was a little bit scary. Okay, now our bauxite should be mining. So we probably, by the time we get back there, we'll have more bauxite ore than we have ever had before. Okay. Should probably build the actual proper little ramp up here. Whew. If nothing else, it will help with situations like that. Um, yeah, we're going to build a proper ramp. We're going to start from this bridge here. So let's see, ramp. Just turn around. Okay, looking fine. Yeah, we can go up this way. Now we have a better way to get up here and we can also, you know, visualize from afar. Oh, that looks like it may be uranium. See how well our rifle works here. Yep, the radiation definitely went off. That's fine. We'll leave that. Leave it be. We don't need any radiation stuff for a while. Although, we should put a symbol on our map. We know there's a radiation symbol right there. Uh, we'll say it's right here. Okay. 
So a pure level 2 mine will be, what, 240 a second? Something like that? So that's going to be a... Belt 3? We need to take it to water. That uses so much. No, for the hogs, we need to kill them manually. That's fine. Um, okay, can we put a... Please tell me. Please tell me that this is deep enough for a... Um, water extractor? Nope, it's not. Well, daggum. So we need to get you to some water. There is deeper water over here. Okay. Conveyor mark three. Just take you upstream. This is fine. It's a little bit of waste of belt, but who cares? We have tons of these resources. Let's see if we can get our explosion. explodey a couple of these did another power slug excellent okay let's get some water going and blender hmm We'll start with the water extractor. Okay, we can do some of these. Good. We'll get a couple. I have no idea how many we're going to need, though. Uh, we need some power here. Uh, you know what? Let's build the rare Mark II pole. And we'll connect you up just via standard poles. Because those work good for a long distance. Okay, so we got the water going now. What's next? Well... Unfortunately, there's not a ton of room here. So we may have to pump this up. We're going to have to clear out all this area too. I mean, clearing out with dynamite is one way to do it. Really? Why is it not... There's surprisingly few trees that we're able to cut down here. Probably gonna have to... Uh, like... Really? Is that just too small now? I don't get it. Alright. 
Anyways, let's just start uh, cementing up this. Uh, let's go more level with the water. I think I'm consigned to having to pump here. Unfortunately, but it's just a necessity. Okay, let's try chopping this one more time. Nope. So I guess we're going to dynamite it out. It won't dynamite out either. Wow. All right, let's try refining. So we're going to make ammonium solution. And then from here, we need to make a aluminum scrap. We have to feed in coal? Oh gosh. I was not prepared for that. So 18 water per se, 118. How much does this produce? 120, so we actually need two, three of these or two and we have four of them okay so we're gonna use well how much water can we put in pipeline mark one 300 all right so we're going to hit pipeline junction here we're going to put uh three of these guys in really liking this area we probably should have gone somewhere a little further but it's hard to know right okay let's go ahead we'll put two refineries One here and one there. Okay, these refineries are both going to be making aluminum scrap, aluminum solution. And we're going to put two things of. Wow, uh, two water pipes. Oops. Let's see. Uh, where can we pump? Right there. We do have water in here. Good. So then, how much aluminum are these capable of processing? 120 per minute. Excellent. So this is all we're going to need for the first stage. I'm looking for... There we go. Uh, let's, um, we'll take you back actually a bit. I don't know where we're gonna get the coal from to make this work, but we'll figure it out. That's a conveyor mark three.
You're kidding. Okay, this is stupid. We're not going to do this. Go down by the river and then turn around and end up being pretty much exactly where we were. No. I was okay with a little bit of a journey, but that's just stupid. Okay. So there will be a little bit of head, a little bit of water pressure, so we can build the next layer a little bit higher if we so desire. Uh, we want to split. Okay, we're going to do the Mark 3s. And then the Mark 2s in. We'll go ahead and dump what we can. Okay, so 120 per minute. The output plus five silica. The silica we're going to eventually need. So let's chop these trees down. Hmm. Clear us some space, see if we can figure this out. I don't know why not all of the trees are chopping down. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so we'll need the silica later. Let's uh, go a little bit higher. because it'll give us a little bit more room to work with. We need another layer of refineries. Can we blow this up? is okay. Let's see here. Let's go with another refinery. Probably two. You're gonna make aluminum scrap and you need a little bit of coal. 240 per minute. Okay, so we only need one of these. You really don't need a lot of coal, but you need some. No, you need 120. That's a good amount. Okay. Interesting. Let's try that again. Junction. There we go. And then pipeline mark one. Whatever. It's stupid, but it will work. So how are we going to get 120 coal out here? And then the silica... We need to store that for later. So we're going to put an industrial storage container here.
Let's actually build a little bit further down. Okay. Now we got lots of silica. How do we get the coal here? Let's look for coal. Hopefully there's some... Oh, thank goodness. It's impure. This one's normal. Impure is only going to be 60. Um, I think we're going to take this one. So we haven't been out this way at all yet. Let's reload everything. Okay, that's what we're gonna use for our weapon, good. And then the coal mine was somewhere out here. It looks like we've got another hard drive spot for the crash site. Oh dear. This is slightly scary. These guys are rough. Still one more, yeah. They're uh, fours. Okay, so they're pretty hard. What is this? That's just nasty water. Ugh. Okay. looking for coal. Should be some pretty close. Oh, I forgot we had the crash site that we need to investigate. We'll get there in a moment. We'll do that on the way back. Cool. Okay. here. That's normal. Normal is really all we need. We don't need pure coal. We got a purple slug. And he's kind of just hanging out here in the middle of nowhere. That's interesting. Now granted, you know, this is pretty far along the path but it's not that obscure of a spot. Usually they're in hard to get areas, the purple ones. Um, what do we got? Coal should be really close to here. Really? It says it's like right here. Thirty-five, thirty. 
seems like it's up here. There we go. Okay, let's get our requisite uh, couple of miners. Just need the two. And then minor mark two. Uh, you can do 120 per minute, which is exactly what we need. We need you in this direction. There's a lot of aluminum around here. It's not always showing the same ones, interestingly enough. But we we know it's in this general direction. Missing reinforced iron plates. Of of course, that's what we're missing. Dagum. Um, okay, we're gonna have to go back and get some, obviously. But before we, well, maybe we won't. It's not that long of a belt that we need. But I'm looking for the crash site. The crash site should have some stuff like... The plates are one thing it often has. There's the crash site. We'll pick you up just to quiet you. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Just a nice little gentle tap just to kind of keep going horizontal. And that takes us to our coal. That's not an artifact. We know there was one though. Mm. Weird, the music keeps cutting in and out. I think. Maybe it doesn't cut out for you guys. It's possible it's my headphones. Okay, we got this. I don't know where you are. Well, dead gum. It must be in this direction. It's going to be heading towards... We're going to stay high, but we're going to head back towards our uh, site. It's where we need to go anyways if we're going to find these plates for the, um, the line anyways. Should have marked it. Should have marked it. Oh well. That's what I get. Always mark the artifacts. If you can't get it. There, that looks promising. Yeah, there we go. Holy cow, this is a long... Let's see here. Well, that was actually surprisingly useful to pick those up. Hmm. 
We got some wire spools. Modular frames. Unfortunately, this was not what I was hoping to find. Computers. Drop pod needs power and two superposition oscillators. Not just oscillators, but superposition ones. Those are not something we have any of. So let's mark this on our map then. Hmm. Question mark right there. We can power it. That won't be too bad. It's too bad they didn't have any plates, but that's fine. We'll get some more. That guy is walking very funnily across. Or am I even going in a direction that makes sense? No, I'm not. I thought this was a good way out, but it's not. It's fine. Doing a little bit more exploring is probably a good thing. And getting some more power to some random spots won't hurt anything either. There we go. the connection points up at there already all right so where are we going uh if we go towards i think the home base we'll have our reinforced plate we can pick up a few stacks there because that should be where the crystal oscillators are made actually that's probably just where the crystal is made yeah which will not have any So high up. Whee! What do we have over here? Hopefully, we've got this site. Actually, it'd be nice if we hadn't. Yeah, we've picked this up. Pick this clean. We've got power and everything to it. There is our site. We're using a lot of this fuel up, actually. Okay, we'll take all of the reinforced plate that you have here. That will shut all those guys off for a little bit until they get more plate, but that's fine. What is the limiting... The limiting factor is honestly the plates. I did not expect that to be the case. Interesting. Very interesting. OK, 
Okay, we need to go up this crazy staircase. We'll... Maybe I should build a... I should build a hyper tube up here. This is a site that we're no doubt going to be visiting a lot. So it'll be good to have easy access to it. Don't know if we'll do the crystal site um, that often. If we need, well, sorry. I don't know if we'll need to bring the crystals up. Is that the same? Oh, that's the radiation site. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll get to that radiation site, I'm sure, but we don't have the ability to withstand radiation. So, yeah. That's just going to have to wait. Spread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. I wonder what the role of Earth is in the lore of this game. So you don't really think of Earth in a game like this. But the fact they keep mentioning it as a part of the alien artifacts is kind of interesting. All right, where are we? It should be in this direction. Superposition oscillator. It only needs two of those, but man, where on earth are we going to get those? Get some motors. That's nice. Um, probably want to go more this way. Looks fine. Okay, there's our goal. Beautiful. Uh, the Mark II belt should be fine. Do you want to make sure this is going the right direction? It's not fudge. Well, better we found out sooner than later. We want it pretty much this way. Okay, we got power lines. We got another purple slug. They seem to love hanging out in the swamp. OK, 
Okay, where are we going? Let's look for our bauxite. Should be close to here. There. So this way. Uh, in other words, we're backing this out. Going down along the swamp. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, is this the right way? Yeah, pretty close. Don't have a lot more belts. Too long, we're gonna need more belt. That gum, sneaky spiders. Uh, let's just bring more plate this time. I think we're a little bit off track, which is not helping any. But other than that, it's fine. Now, considering we haven't cleared out the forest, this may get to be a little bit interesting. This is fine. So let's see, we'll take the tube. It's the best way. That'll get us most of the way. And we have the tunnel, so we, not tunnel, the um, concrete pathway. So we don't need our fancy jumping or uh, flying abilities. So we should be okay, but we'll see. I want to get a little bit of aluminum ore processed by the end of today, have this set up. That is my goal. That's it, that's all we want. Nice long tunnel. It's probably... Well... It would be nice to go build the hypertube up. But... I don't really have enough stuff to do that. The plates are... They may be a limiting factor, but we could build more processing because we had a store of plates. Okay, that's good to know. We could build another crystal oscillator uh, refining and be just fine. If I had my gas mask, I would check the crystal production, but we don't. And alas, I did think we have to walk through a toxic territory to get there, so we're not going to do that. We don't even have that much filter left. We might want to set up some automatic filter production. Oi, we're kind of badly hurt. Guess we must have taken a drop. 
We are healing though. It's pretty slow. We're not going to go towards the radiation zone. So we do need to go a little bit towards the radiation zone and then go up. You know, I built this theoretically. <gasps> Shoot. Um, no, we're going to die again. Ah, <sighs> daggum. Okay, this time we'll bring the inhalers and we'll have to go a different path. The emergency inhalers, where are you? You're over here. I didn't replenish the emergency inhalers. Um, okay, well, this is gonna be fun. All right. Let's think this through, think this through. We need... Obviously that's too big of a jump to do without my superpowers. We don't heal to 100% when we start. That's good to know. Should probably get some fruit or something like that, but meh. We'll be fine. Actually, if I see some fruit, I will pick it up and eat it. Because it would be nice to heal up at least a little bit. I think we'll go up this way. I should have brought some concrete with us. Yeah. We can recycle a bit of concrete though. There's part of this uh, that we know is not good. That's what we're going to do. Yes, I like this plan. Okay. So we know that this bridge goes up too high. Uh, we overbuilt it a little bit. So we're going to take back some of the end segments of it to get us over to where we're trying to get to. Although, will this? This is that path. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. This is what we were trying to jump to. So our one crate is up there. We should pick that one up before we go. And we will pick up a few of the extra um, concrete pads that are at the top. This is the better way to go if this happens in the future. We'll remember this. Totally will not repeat our sins. So this stuff is all useless. So we're going to back out four or five segments of it. Seems like a reasonable plan.
good enough. Uh, let's take two more segments. This will also discourage me from going this way. Okay. Because I still occasionally walk up that bridge because I'm an idiot. This is still fine to get through. And this is where I jumped. We should have the crate somewhere right around here. Oh dear, it actually is down. I did not expect that. Okay, well let's we'll, we'll make out of this what we can. Take everything. Now somehow we got to get down from here safely. We don't have parachutes, we don't have any concrete to speak of. Could probably make a bit of a ramp from this though. Um, actually, I bet you we can go from right here, there. Perfect. That will do quite nicely. And then we've got our shortcut and we are a beautiful position. That would have been a lot easier to get the chest if that's where I had realized it was. Okay. Moving on up. Let's check the time. Excuse me. Getting a train all the way up here is going to be a pain. I almost wonder if it would have been better to truck the coal. But yeah. I don't want to use any of our coal as fuel. Okay, we don't know how far away our crate is. <gasps> It's high radiation. That was the radiation area. Okay. Neither was a radiation area. I did not remember where it was. Can't afford. So let's build it from here. As high up as we can get. Okay, we made it up to the top. So now we just gotta avoid the critters, the um, breathing hazards. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Do not bite me. Do not eat me, guys. That's what I get for being greedy and going after that purple slug. Getting close to our crate. I feel it. This is the bauxite mine.
purposely going just a little bit off of the track so that way we'll know um, when we're getting close. If you're going straight to it, you really can't tell that easily. But if you're a little bit off, then the angle will change. I saw a little bit of a red flash. I think it was actually the sunset, but it freaked me out for a sec. And Okay. Doesn't have a distance. What just damaged me? Is that radiation of some kind or something? Oh dear. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, let's create a dump chest here real quick. We're going to dump in the leaves, stuff like that. Yeah, I need more. Oh, what else is garbage? I don't know, the screws, the whip. Okay, we do need more leaves. Um, some, yeah, it doesn't matter. Take it all. We're just trying to clear some room so we can get this easily. Good. Then we're going to take all of this and let's process some meat. So we need all of our meat, we'll leave the leaves, and we'll leave, I don't know, that behind, that's fine. This will just use less space so we can carry a little bit more. Uh, we're going to of course use most of this. I think I have a small stack of leaves too. Uh, the micella. No, let's not get rid of that because it's hard to replace. The slugs. We got a lot of power slugs. This should give us enough room, I think, for everything. We could toss our coal too. 50 computers. Um, tell you what, let's just come back for those. Computers are not what I would have chose, but let's go put our coal in the refining and then we'll pick up the computers in a moment. Or honestly, we only have one more of these, so let's... Okay. Now we have inventory space cleared. Mm. Trade is back here. Take it all. Good. Not good that we're out of explosives, but it doesn't matter that much. We'll clear out some more space here pretty soon. We 
Wait, what's this over here? This is a radiation crash site. Okay. We've been in there before. So now we just need to go find our coal and start getting it in the right direction. But let's find the right direction first. There we go. So we can dump uh, our coal here. This general direction for the coal. Hopefully, we can find this fairly easily. I guarantee you, we're gonna find this and it's gonna be like way past the straight line, and we had enough resources the whole time. How? We were going the right direction, I... right over there. Okay. Let's go here. So that will work. Uh, we need to do something with this aluminum scrap now. The aluminum scrap, I think we go through a foundry. Let's put one of the foundries here. Aluminum ingot is 90 scrap per minute. This thing makes 240, so we need three foundries. Let's just extend out this way, I think. Keep changing my mind, I know, I know. Everything must be in its optimal place, though. Uh... I think here. Okay, so then we have a splitter. We're probably Mark II's into this. Yeah.
Okay. Then uh, what next? Uh, the aluminum scrap comes out 360 per minute. So that's a Mark IV belt. That is not something I build very many of. And then we'll get these guys powered up. Then they also are going to need the silica. Which we can at least for a little while get from here. How much silica do they actually need? 75 per minute. Times 3. These guys are going to give us... 50 per minute times 2. So we're only going to get 100. We're going to have to put silica in from elsewhere. But we may as well get this started. This should be enough to get us at least started with the process. We'll figure out how to get this fed later on a better basis. Okay. Let's uh, just build the splitter on top. Conveyor mark three in and then mark twos out. That gets us to aluminum ingots. <sighs> okay. And then... What is it that we need? It's aluminum something. My guess is it's going to be an assembly item. I got an aluminum sheet. So we need some copper. 30 ingots per minute. This will produce 60. So we can get two of these. Two per. And we need to feed in copper. Well, I'm only going to concentrate on one. And then the copper... I think we'll have it feed in from this way and then... Invalid shape, of course it is. Um... We'll just have it do something like this. So where do we have copper? Impure should be good enough. Okay. I mean, I'm not really worried about a box of coal. So, we need to get our power going here. In this direction. 
And we're gonna need to bring some silicon in here as well. Okay, let's keep going. Seems like the game's just gonna have more and more of these super complex assemblies, which is, you know, par for the course, I guess, with this kind of game. But we're going across the radiation zone. Um, I think it's fairly safe if we go this way. Yep, we're good. Try copper. Probably don't need to run the power lines out here, but that's okay. We like doing needlessly complex things for science. Don't know what science is accomplished by this, but yeah. Details. Going back into the swamp. No more cables at all, wow. You know what? I think this is called time to the end. We're going to go... I just... Ah! Try radiation levels all over the place here. Okay. So we know that there's some high radiation somewhere in this vicinity. Let's see, well, we can't even connect up the hypertube even if we did. Obviously we're a bit lost, but there was something in this direction that I marked at some point in time on the map thinking it would be worth coming back to. Ooh. Artifact site. We need a massive amount of battery power, but we should be able to get that. Looks like our trains have been running pretty smoothly. Those hatch things are so much easier to deal with with rifles. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we got a little bit of copper ore. It's like we have a gap in our visibility over here. 
Probably because uh, we don't haven't seen on top of the mountains here. Okay, we're just gonna keep going down. Uh, we'll end up here in our waterfall district. And I'll tell you what, I am. We're not really gonna do anything, so all I'm gonna do is go pick up some cables from our main site. And since this is the end of the episode anyways, then I think we're just going to call this. Uh, next time, we're going to build hypertubes. We're going to finish the aluminum outcloud or whatever it is. And... Get to Logistics 5. And we'll keep going. I'm starting to feel like I don't really want to keep doing everything in here. I mean... Looking at the complete phase four stuff, that's looks like some serious commitments for all of them. And I don't know that I quite want to do that, but I am interested in figuring out the aluminum, possibly the nuclear. But we'll see. I do want to get back to Planet Crafter. They've had another update too and see how that's going. And maybe we'll do some streaming of Kerbal. They're going to have a new patch be released next week and it uh, promises to be more stable. It's still not really streamable in my opinion, but it's hard to say. Um, it's recordable though and we're making some progress. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. Thank you for following me on Twitch and subscribing to my YouTube channels and all the things that you guys do. You guys are amazing. Thanks for everything. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care, guys. See you next time.